adding a blog to your website is a great way of increasing the website visitors that you receive, improving your authority in your niche, and also helping to convert more website visitors into customers. I'm gonna show you how you can add a blog function to your current WordPress website. And we're gonna create a blog template that will make the blog creation process quick and easy. We're gonna use a free plugin called Elementor to help us design amazing looking blog posts with just drag and drop. Don't have a website yet? Well, look in the description of this video where you will find the link to the full tutorial where you can build your own WordPress website from scratch. So let's start our blog. First thing we need to do is we need to make sure that if you don't already have Elementor installed on your website, you want to make sure you have it installed. So in order to do that, you need to go over to plugins, then add new and find Elementor. So go to add new plugin, search in here, Elementor, and you'll see Elementor web page builder. This will say install now. You just need to click on install now and activate, and then you'll be able to follow along with the rest of this tutorial. Now we want to create our blog post. And in order to do that, we need to go over to our pages and we need to create the new page and then call it blog. So we've just clicked on create new and we want to call this blog or you can say blog posts or news or whatever you may like. And then what we want to do is we want to come over and we want to hit publish. Once you've done that, you can come back to your pages and you'll see here that we have now our blog posts. Now this has been set as our blog posts page. You see the way it says posts page beside here. And to set that as our post page, we go to appearance, customize, homepage settings. And you'll see here that our blog has been selected as our posts page. However, we aren't a able to edit our posts page with Elementor free. We would have to upgrade to the paid version of Elementor, which I, I don't want to do for this tutorial. I want to show you how to do everything using just the free version of Elementor. So we're not going to have this sent as our post page. We're just going to make sure under posts page, we have this select. This is basically none. So our post page does isn't selected. So I suppose the only difference is that whenever you create a new blog post, the blog posts are automatically put onto the posts page. And because we haven't got a post page selected, it's not gonna automatically put it onto our blog. But I'm gonna show you how you can, every time you write a new blog post, you can simply add that on using a different method, basically. So we're just gonna make sure if we've made any changes here, this should be selected. Your home page should be home, post page should say select. So it's effectively none. Make sure you hit publish and go back to our dashboard. So now we have our blog and it no longer says posts page beside it. The first thing we wanna do is we actually wanna create a couple of blog posts so that when we put them on our page, we can see how they're going to be displayed. So in order to create a blog post, we need to go over here to posts and then we can add new post. And this is where you will put the title of your blog post. Let's say our dietitian is writing a blog post on best foods for dry skin or something like that. Best foods for dry skin. We've got our title. We're going to hit publish, publish again. What we want to do is we also want to have a featured image for our post. So that there's a nice little image appears when our blog post appears. And then we want to have a little bit of text. And this just helps us create a realistic looking post. You can, of course, you can, of course, actually create your blog post at this point if you have a blog post ready to go. OK, so we have a little bit of text, our title and our featured image. That should be enough for now. I'm going to go and create another blog post. So we're going to go view posts. Add another post. Let's say best foods for oily skin. Maybe our dietitian specializes in skin issues. Pop in the same dummy text. 
Make sure we click posts here, set featured image. I'm just going to pop an image here from our gallery. You might also want to make sure that you've categorized your blog posts. So this, you don't want to really leave them uncategorized. You want to start building up different categories of blog posts. So we're going to click add new category. This one is going to go under skin. So it's under skin. Now we want to publish, publish again. Now what happens, we need to put our blog posts onto our blog page. So in order to do that, we need to go back to pages. And in order to again, use the free version of Elementor, we need another plugin that's going to help us pop quickly and easily our blog posts onto this blog page. So we're going to go to plugins, add a new plugin. We want to look for grid, Let's see if it'll come up. This one, post grid, and install now, and click activate. Now, we want to make sure this one, resource load time is set to Elementor Gutenberg. Make sure we click save changes. Now we're going to go back to our pages and our blog page. We want to edit with Elementor. This will bring us back to our familiar Elementor editor. We want to try this one. Yeah. And now we want to add, we need to go to add element. So now we also have this new post grid section. So this is going to allow us to put our blog posts in here quite quickly and easily. So let's just see what this looks like. We're going to drag over this grid layout into our space that we've created with Elementor. And now you can see that this is brought through our blog posts without a whole pile of work, without a whole pile of energy. This has just beautifully created our page with our blog posts in it. We want to make sure we have an appropriate title, not section title. So you'll see that we have all the options over here on the left hand side and you can choose different layouts. And obviously, if you pay for the pro version, you get more layouts, but you can play around with which one you like best. So I quite like that one. Post title is under style. I'm not going to play about with this too much. Design wise, I think it's quite good. Thumbnail, excerpt, metadata, metadata. This is this information here. So you can see this is by, and this is my email address. You can see the category, you can say the date. I'm going to click on metadata because I don't really want most of that stuff kind of appearing. Oh yeah, here we go. Metadata. So you can choose to take away your post date, post category, author, or what we can do is just show, not show the metadata altogether. So now all you have is your title and that little bit of text that kind of introduces the blog post. Section title is here. So we want to say blog posts. We can change the style. So you see this is a dot on a border. What's this one look like? Yeah, don't really like that. You can play about with which one you like the best. Section title. bar color. See if we can change the bar color. Yeah, that changes our bar color. So what we can do if we want to have the same color as our blog post here, we can go and use our color picker quickly and easily grab our color, grab the hex code for that, pop that in to here. That will mean Oh, that little, this little the line I changed. That's fine. I can pop it in here as well. So now I have all of that, the same color as our branding on our website. So now I quite like that. What I might do is just try and edit the colors of this button here a little bit. Let's see, content, style. This is our read more button. So the text color, that's fine. We want to change because it's changing to blue on hover. So we go here, we can click hover. 
our border that is going blue, we want it to go green like our color. We want the text color to go our same green. So now you can see when we hover over it, it turns to our branded green color. And I think that looks pretty good. The only thing that I want to adjust a little bit. Mm, not much though. I think it looks really good. You can just imagine now if someone comes to our blog post page and you have a selection of blog posts here. This will look really good in displaying the different posts that you have. And these little buttons will directly take people to the actual blog post that they want to read. I'm just going to space it out a little bit. So I'm going to bring it a little bit down from the top. So in order to do that, I'm going to select this main container, go to advanced, put a little bit of a margin at the top. So I'm going to unlink the values. What am I going to put? Maybe 50 pixels at the top. I might put 50 at the bottom as well. And I get rid of our editor to see what that looks like. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? A little bit of space at the top and the bottom. Now you can see that our menu up here doesn't actually contain our blog page. So what we want to do is we want to go back, make sure we've saved everything here. We want to go back and add our blog page to our menu. So in order to edit our menu, we need to go back to our dashboard, exit to WordPress, back to the dashboard. So we want to go to appearance and menus. So here's our main menu. That's what our menu is called. We want to make sure we select blog and we want to click add to menu. And I think what I might do is you can drag and drop these anywhere. So we can see this has gone as a sub item. I don't want it as a sub item. I want it as an item on its own. So now we have all of the different items in our menu. And it's the same way if we wanted to add any of these other pages to our menu. Maybe you want a my account page on the menu as well. All you need to do is select this and add to menu. So I'm just going to save the menu from now and then we'll go and view our site. And make sure that has appeared. So now we have home blog about services contact. I'm just going to change that so that blog is in capital letters as well. Label, we want to make that in capitals so that it fits the rest of the styling for our menu. So I save that, we'll go back to our page, refresh the page, and now we can see that they're all in capitals. So that's how you add a blog post to your website. So now I want to show you how you can create a blog post template so that you don't need to redesign a blog post every time you want to write a blog. So in order to be able to do that, we're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard. We're going to go over, hover over templates, and then we can go to add new. We're going to select a page template and we're going to call this our blog post template. I'm going to create a template. Now we want to start comprising a simple blog layout. So I'm just going to go with this layout and we're going to drag and drop a few items from this left hand panel over into our editor screen. So first thing I'm going to drag across is a heading because that's going to be our blog post heading, obviously. Now we want a little subsection that goes underneath the heading. And then the next thing you might want to have is an image to go with your blog post. So we're going to drag over a image. Mm. Like that. And then let's say you might want to have a content area or a contents area. So what we're going to do for that, we're going to click add again. We're going to add a container, a new container underneath this one. Here. We're going to change the background of this one to a little bit of a darker color. Go to style, background, color, let's say mm. hmm. Let me just leave it kind of a grayish color. I might lighten that slightly. Just so it stands out slightly from the rest of our background. We're going to drag in another heading. Nope, not that. Heading inside here. 
we're going to have table of contents. And then we're going to have a text editor underneath the contents. And in here is where you can write the headings for all the subsections on your content on your blog post. And this we're going to put in a link for each of those so that someone doesn't need to read the entire blog post. They can skip to the part of the blog post that they are really interested in. This really helps increase our user satisfaction when it comes to our content. So we don't actually have our content yet, but that's what the idea is. So let's just put this together just to show you how it works in practice. So let's just say we have section one, we're just going to call it introduction. You would call it whatever you want. And let's do a section two. No, yeah, the loop. And now we will go and we will just add another container underneath. I want it to be underneath. I want it, yeah, there. We don't want it to be within this gray area because it's going on to our content. So we have another box here. We're going to drag over a, another heading. This one, we're going to make sure it's a H3. No, I'm going to leave that as a H2. We want our H1, this one, to be H1 because that is the heading of our overarching blog post. Any subheadings underneath that go as a H2. And then if you have a subsection within this section, you will call that a H3. It's called having a proper hierarchy of our content. And this helps optimize our posts for SEO. So this is going to be our topic. And we're going to say this one is one oops, introduction. Again, you can call this whatever you want. But I just want to demonstrate how we can create a table of contents that allows people to skip to whichever section they want. So we have this one. We want to select this. We want to insert a link and we're going to put hash introduction. I'm going to insert that link. You can see now that if we hover over it, the little mouse search, uh, cursor changes. So it's now a link. Then we, what we want to do is we want to select. Oh, sorry. Then what we want to do is we want to have a menu anchor just above this because this will not appear in the front end on the real website, but it's going to allow us to link these parts of our website. So now I'm just going to click publish. I want to see if this is set up correctly. It's going to preview the page and let's have a look. You can see now that if we click on this little bit here, it's going to bring us straight to the appropriate section of our blog post. So whenever you're whenever you have created all of the content in your blog post, create the little sections here, put the link in with the menu anchor, and that will bring people exactly to the content that they are interested in. So let's create the rest of this template. So. We're going to have a little more text area here. Then what we might have is another image. We put another heading, another text area. So we can just get rid of this editor now and we can look at what we have the basic structure of our blog post. We have our H1 heading here, a small introductory sentence and an image. Then we go into our table of contents. We have a basic structure where we have a subheading, a little bit of text, an image, and you can add a bit more text underneath here, perhaps, where we write some more of our content. But you can see how easy it is to comprise or put together our blog post. And you, put, you can put some icons, you can put Within our Elementor free, we have all of these different things available to us. If you choose to pay for Elementor Pro, 
you'll get a lot more different things that you can add in to your blog post. But to be fair, if your blog post has good content and good information within it, the design needs to be simple and clear. And having things like your table of contents is important to be able to help with the navigation of that. So what we're going to do now is we are just going to add one simple section at the bottom that prompts people to book that discovery call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a section. Um, let's see on our about page. Whoops. Not that page, our home page. See this bit here. I'm going to pop this into the bottom of our blog page so that on every blog post, this will appear automatically without us having to, oops, let that go. Without us having to recreate it every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go while I'm viewing my website like this, click on edit with Elementor. I'm going to make sure this part is selected and I'm going to save as template. We're going to call this our book discovery section and we're going to save that to our content library. Now we will go back to this blog post. I'm just going to click publish before I do anything here. Then I'm going to refresh the page. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to add a template. I'm going to click on my templates and now you're going to see our book discovery section is there. We're going to click insert. We want to don't apply the settings. I don't think. Let me see what that looks like. Okay, so that's perfect. So now you can see that we have this section now nicely on the bottom of our blog post. Let's click publish just to save that. And all we want to do then, once we have our template designed, obviously it's an empty template, but it's given you an idea of how you drag and drop your items across from this editor into this section and how to create a table of contents. Now, here we go. We have our call to action. We have our blog post structure laid out with our contents area. I'm just going to make sure that is published and saved. And now that will be within our template area. So every time we want to create a new blog post, all we need to do, go back to our WordPress, go into our posts and add a new post. I'm going to give it a title. Best recipes for weight loss, perhaps. Hit publish, publish again. Then we want to go to edit with Elementor. Now we want to add in our template. Click on templates and our blog post should be there. There we have it. Now we don't have to redesign this section every time. We'll just add in this one doesn't seem to have gone in. So we'll pop that one in as well. Now we have our call to action and our blog post ready to start putting in the content of our blog post. If you're interested in learning how to craft the perfect blog post, then consider watching this video next.